And as mentioned, you can leave me a question for Next Majority Speaks in the Discord. Check it out. Uh, we also have a voicemail number where you can call into the show and leave any comments or questions, and I'll be happy to play them on the show, you know, as long as they're appropriate and everything. Uh, the call number is 917-267-8313. Once again, that's 1-917-267-8313. We got a voicemail from a great viewer, Mr. VG Mashup, friend and fan of the show. Appreciate him for coming by. We're going to listen to his two-part question. Hello, Majority. Two questions for you today. It is December 25th, Merry so this Christmas. one is important. First, what brand slash type or flavor of cookie would you recommend? <laughs> I really need to make up some points for Santa. So any type of brand, whether it's generic or some specialty mom and pop bakery, love to hear your recommendation for that. Secondly, you have been appointed CEO of Nintendo. You have two missions. One, take an existing active Nintendo franchise and shelve it for a while. Two, start a brand new IP for the company. What two choices would you be making? You know, obviously the IP is going to be new, so I'm kind of looking for the type of game. Yeah. Love to hear the responses. As always, thank you so much for taking the questions. Can't wait to hear them. The answers, that is. Nice. Good questions, Mr. VG Mashup. Uh, the first part, I'm not a sweet tooth. I don't have a sweet tooth. Um, but if you really want to go above and beyond, peanut butter. I love peanut butter and cookies. I don't know. It has kind of like that, like, a chewy taste. Um, I like a good peanut butter chunk. I don't know. And I feel like that would be easy to make if you're baking them. So that's my recommendation as far as cookies. Uh, the other question is also a good two-parter here. Uh, shelve one franchise from Nintendo and introduce a new one. So, you know, I think the, the hard part about this is that Nintendo shelves their franchises as it is. A lot of these best ones we haven't really seen. Metroid, Star Fox, F-Zero, where are they? Like... The, the the gaming the gamers they're hurting right now Nintendo so like that's that's a thing but of the ones that like are current and existing and still really popular we have like Mario Zelda um, Fire Emblem has risen you know in popularity Animal Crossing and um, Pokemon I don't think you should ever take out Mario or Zelda I think you should keep those coming um, because they are generally really good games no matter what um fire emblem i would keep i would honestly say like it, it's got a growing fan base and there's potential there and they're doing good things with it and it's maintained consistency even in terms of the games i'm not crazy about fire emblem but i i do appreciate them um so i would say keep it um pikmin did i mention pikmin uh, well pikmin is not really like they, they have they've pretty much shelved it anyways they just re-released three it's like that's all they're doing i don't even know that you should say like this, that's shelf worthy that really leaves pokemon and i hate it when people say like when you play a pokemon game you're playing the same game you know no matter what the game is that's just not true there are differences every generation and um I, like I, I just feel like there still have been some serious missteps. And since the question is about shelving it for a while, I wouldn't mind if Pokemon Company just, you know, took Pokemon and, and shelved it for a couple, like a year, two years, figured out what's going wrong. What was wrong with Pokemon Sword and Shield? What didn't people like? What, you know, why did, why is that DLC alone doesn't just fix the problems here? And really reflect and make it better because like pokemon deserves to be better that game deserved to be better the first console pokemon game and that was that was a big disappointment i mentioned that um in the backlog video but um i would i would like them to shelve it and figure out what's going wrong there the second question is is very awesome i i love uh these kind of creative creator questions what nintendo does is they innovate they innovate with the consoles. They innovate with the franchises. Note all of those major franchises are distinct, even in terms of genre. 
what I think Nintendo does really well is they capitalize on genres. So Zelda takes the 2D, 3D action adventure. Mario takes the 2D, 3D platforming. Kirby also for 2D platforming. Um, Fire Emblem is strategy RPG. Animal Crossing is a life sim. Ring Fit Adventure, I'm looking at girlfriend's Christmas present right there. You know, they got the exercise thing. Like, they, they are really good at knowing the market and knowing what they already do and what they don't do. And so, you know, like even Mario covers sports and kart racing. And so what I would want from a new Nintendo IP is for it to be purposeful, for it to be valuable, for it to be something that people are clamoring for that they really want. They don't need to tap into the FPS market. They already have these companies doing that bidding for them. It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary that we get another Zelda clone. I don't, I don't think that matters even in terms of 2D or 3D. I think what matters is the gamers and the games. But I think what matters is what's relevant this year and what's relevant for nintendo and when i think about nintendo i think uh, recently i think about the nintendo world theme park attraction and i think about like the success of the animal crossing sim and i wonder if there's a way to combine the two to do some kind of nintendo world video game where you make mario rise or you make you know nintendo attractions it reminds me of like a roller coaster tycoon in a sense and then you get to be the management team behind it isn't there like some potential there? Like I loved Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's one of the first games I ever played. And I, you know, I'm not a PC gamer, but I, I was very fond of my experience with Roller Coaster Tycoon. Maybe they could like do some kind of crossover. And I'm not talking like the modern Roller Coaster Tycoons are not the same. I like I don't know if it really does translate to console as well. Maybe it is a console destined thing. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, what do you think? Does do you think this is a an idea with potential? Yes or no? Uh, I'd love to hear your comments and also your thoughts in the comments below what uh nintendo ips uh would you like to see created